One of my favorite parts of cruising is getting to explore the world and visit places of historical significance. Ahoy travelers, it's Amy with Cruising from the Ozarks here to help you make your travel experience a success. Cruising offers a glimpse into worlds you might never experience otherwise, and on occasion, ancient worlds. Cruising has brought me to places in the world with ancient ruins that I would never have likely seen otherwise. So far, I've visited two different Mayan ruin sites while on my adventures at sea. The first site I visited was while on a Mayan ruin and jungle river excursion in Belize to Lamini. Since the ruins are usually found quite far away from the port, there's going to be some travel involved. What I really liked about this excursion is that we only took a bus one way because we then traveled back by boat along the river in order to see various wildlife such as monkeys, crocodile, and even some manatee. And lots and lots of iguana. I was able to explore and learn about the beautiful Lamini ruins before our tour then stopped at a local place right along the river for a bite to eat and some local beer. After we ate, we then got on the boats and were taken down river for around an hour or so. Except for some rain, it was a great experience because we got to see monkeys in the trees along with plenty of other wildlife that you might expect. The only disappointment is that we were to go through an area inhabited by manatee on our way back to the ship, but all we could see of the manatee were bubbles on the surface of the water. It was so disappointing. I would have loved to have seen a manatee in person, like break the surface of the water, but that just wasn't to be. It was an all day excursion that took up almost all the time scheduled to be at port. So I definitely booked it through the cruise line. That way I didn't have to worry about the ship leaving me behind if the tour didn't make it back. Now, Having said that, when we got back, we had about 30 minutes before the last tender left to get back to the ship, and I did rush into a shop to try to get a souvenir. Now, at that point, it would have been my fault, but if something had happened to the bus or if the boat had broken down while on the river, then we would have been able to notify the ship the ship would not have left us. Always remember, if your excursion is going to take up most of the time that you're on shore, this is the time when you should book through the cruise line. Before I talk about my second time touring some Mayan ruins, if you enjoy this video and maybe even learn something, be sure to let us know by commenting and giving this video a thumbs up. It only takes a second and doing so helps cruisers like you find us. On our recent cruise, mom and I went to the Chekchobin ruins while in Costa Maya. I think that's how it's pronounced. minutes to walk around then maybe five minutes later tell us it was time to move on to the next thing now if you've been to anything like mayan ruins really any kind of major spot you know that sometimes it takes a while to get everybody out of your way so that you can get a picture without a bunch of other tourists in it sometimes getting that clean shot whether it's just of the ruins itself or you in front of the ruins can take a while so five minutes is not enough time after my second Mayan ruins tour, I've come to decide that while I do enjoy seeing these ruins, I mean, it's just something you have to at least go see one time. To see something that's that ancient and old and still around is amazing. However, they are all very much alike, or at least the ones that I have seen are. So I think if I book any new ones in the future, I'll do like I did that first time and make it part of a longer excursion that offers more than just the ruins. Have you ever visited any Maya ruins? If so, which ones? And was it worth the trip? Comment below and let us know. Why not stick around and check out this video and then come back for more information designed to help you have an amazing cruise. Have a blessed week, everyone.